is a quick tutorial for how to make a port pillow. It attaches to the seat belt of a chemotherapy patient. A couple things you're going to need. You're going to need some scraps of fabric. One needs to be 12 by 6 and a half. That's for the pillow and the strap, 3 and a half by 6. And you can see I've got examples of those laid out. Uh, go ahead and take your iron and with a large piece, fold under about half an inch on each end and press. Then fold that in half and make another press along the lower edge. Uh, this will help you in a few minutes, you'll understand. Uh, the strap piece, um, what I do is I fold in about in half an inch here. You can press that if you like. Then fold it in half like this. I can't do it one-handed, but I've got one ready for you. So you can see there's the folded edge. I've chalked a, a mark line there and that's where you're going to sew. I don't usually do that, but just to help you understand. When you're finished with that, you're going to flip that inside out after you've clipped your corners. So don't forget to clip that corner before you turn it. You're going to turn it and what you're going to see is an open end right here. And we're going to close that here in our next step. But you understand what we're doing there. Next, you'll take Velcro. It's about an inch long. Um, you'll attach one end, flip your strap over, and attach the other side to this end. Um, and then that way, uh, that will close and attach well. Okay, so I work in an assembly line, so um, after I've finished those pieces, um, I keep those together, and then those will be ready for my next one. All right, so next I have a piece that we're ready to sew on. This is where it comes in handy to have some sort of a, a drawn board or some sort of a mat. So you're gonna center that piece using the, the pressed line there. You're gonna center that. It's also helpful to have a calling card that you've cut to an inch and seven, or inch point seven five, so one and three quarters inches. You'll see that I've marked my chalk lines. I've also, I don't usually mark it, but you'll see an X in the middle, and that's just to show you that that's where I, I like to seam those. You can see that that's centered. And the next step, you'll see that I have sewn that down. What you'll do at this point is fold that so that it's velcroed closed. Then you will close this, and you're gonna seam along both sides. Uh, about a quarter inch seam is fine, and you'll see that I've done that in this step. So you'll see where underneath my strap is here, and I have seamed along both edges. This top piece here, uh, you can see is still folded down. We did that first. Um, and then I've just closed that, so I've aligned those edges nicely, okay? Um, after you've done that, you're going to flip it. Um, you can press it if you want to. I, I tend to not do that when I'm on the deck, but just center it nicely. Use that pin again to find your center there. And at this point, you're going to use a ruler, and you're going to draw about a two-inch line from the edge. And this is going to be your seam line. So next, you're going to seam there and seam here. And when you're finished, this is how it looks. You'll have three channels along the top. Each one of those you're going to stuff with stuffing, and when you're finished, you'll just close it. I attach a label there when I'm finished, but you don't have to do that. Hope that's helpful.